Welcome back, guys. Um, first of all, I just want to say thanks to everybody who commented uh, on the vi last video. I really appreciate it. I do apologize for getting back so late uh, with another uh, follow-up video. Uh, it's been a little tough, you know, work and whatnot. But um, I have, as you can see, I have two uh, two sets of boots here. I have the Thorough Goods, and then I have the Red Wing Irish Setters. We'll be talking about the Red Wing I Red Wing Irish Setters as well. But right now we're going to talk about the Thorough Goods. I'm going to give you guys an update. The 804 3800s, these are the waterproof uh, Thorough Goods that came out last year, I believe. I've had them for a year now. Back in April, I went to Washington to go work. And they held up really well. The first week it rained like nobody's business. If you've ever been to you know, the state of Washington, you know all it does is rain. Rain and snow. And these boots got so wet i don't know where where they came the water came in at but they started they started the, the water started soaking in from the soles of my boots they didn't soak in from the top and go down it actually came in from the end it started seeping in from anywhere somewhere around this sole around here um i don't know if it seeped in from this part or if it seeped in from the toe or what but it just seeped in really bad they got soaking wet, and I, there was no way I was going to go back to work the next day in these boots, especially working night shift and whatnot. So what I did was the next day I went and I bought the Irish Setters. The only reason I bought them was because a buddy of mine was like, hey, man, you know, these are the best boots. They're real comfortable. There's no break-in period. You're going to love them. And I'm like, you know what, dude? I, I'm a thorough, I'm a diehard, thorough, good fan. He's like, yeah, but just try them on. So... You know, not having much time and having to get to work, I said, all right, let's just go. I went, I tried them on, kid you not, <laughs> hands down, one of the most comfortable boot I've ever had my feet in. Um, just to revert back, guys, to the thoroughgood, because that's what we're going to focus on for a little while here. So they did do their job. They stayed waterproof. Like I said, I don't know what happened. I don't know what broke apart. I don't know what exactly broke down inside of this boot to allow it to, to, to have water seeping in. Um, but they did hold up. You know, if you want a good boot that's going to last a year, these are them. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing that I really appreciate is they did something new. This sole right here is a tougher, harder sole that they made. Um, it didn't affect, the, you know, as far as the cushion or anything. But what it did do is this wear right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's normally like right here, and it, and it goes down real bad. Within within eight nine months, this part is already wore out completely. The edge right here is normally wore out completely, but as you can see, it's still pretty good. This still has a lot of life left on these soles. Um, this is where I got the most wear in at. But at the end of the day, I mean, they held up really really strong. So that's one great thing about them. The other great thing, too, is just the overall fit, the comfortability of them. Uh, my feet weren't hot or nothing working in, in this humid weather out here in Houston, Texas. It's not bad at all. It's really great. Um, my feet stayed uh, cool during, you know, during the hot days, stayed warm during the winter. It didn't stay too warm, but they stayed a little warm. Um, I was able to put on like a pair of cotton socks and it, and it wouldn't affect you know the top part or nothing it wouldn't affect much and i still had plenty of room one thing i will say though i know i confused a lot of people whenever i told you guys that these run a little bigger i i'm, I'm gonna hold true to that but these iris setters i want to buy them in the 11 and a half these are a 12 and the original ones that i had i showed you in my very first video were 13s i ran into a shoemaker um because i had my other boots uh resold and he told me, he said, listen, first of all, these boots are too big for you. He said, I know you got a wide foot, but you don't have to get a big boot. He told me, he said, you're going to have more back problems, more foot problems, more leg problems because of the fact of how, you know, how big these boots are. He said, you need to find something that's your size and, you know, go with that. And that's going to help you so much better. Plus, it's going to give you more dexterity you know, doing the work that you do, walking the iron and stuff like that. So I took his advice when I got the Irish setters and I went down to an 11 and a half. Now we're going to go to the Irish setters. The Irish setters, man, I kid you not, from day one, as soon as I put them on, I disliked my friend because I fell in love with these boots. 
One thing that I love about them is that as soon as I put them on, there was no break-in period whatsoever. They're lightweight. They're very comfortable, very cushiony, very springy. I felt like I was just walking on air, literally. It was just the greatest feeling in the world. And it's great to put on a work boot and not have to worry about a break-in period. One thing I didn't like and it took time for me to get used to was this part here is real bulky. Compared to, compared to the uh, Thorough Goods, these are a lot bulkier. But you got a lot more support back here, too. I didn't like the laces they came with. These are crap laces, by the way. They break apart. They're no good. So he gave me some of these uh, these laces here that I like. They're really long, so I cut them. I wrap them around my boots, of course. Um, we'll say this. If you look at the liner inside of these compared to the liner in this one. All right. So first of all, the tongue, all this is leather. Okay. So this is all leather right here. This is where this is where you, your stop is. And with the Irish setters, this is part of the liner. This isn't leather at all. So this right here folds in a lot better. So you don't get that bulkiness. And you don't get the bulkiness here. The other great thing about the Irish setters is you see this notch that's cut out right here. This is so whenever you have your boots on and you're bending, you don't get this bulkiness tucked inside the way you do with all these regular other boots. You see how this how this is already how it bulges out on its own like that because after wear and tear you don't have to worry about it on these these are really great boots the irish setters i recommend i really do um they are i haven't worked them in houston yet in really humid weather to know whether or not if they're extremely hot on the inside i will say this Working in that cold weather, working in, you know, 38 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees with the wind blowing, making it feel like the wind chill is, you know, 25 out there. I didn't, I didn't wear wool socks. You don't want to wear wool socks with these, first of all, because they're just already thick in the inside. So I wear, I wore a pair of diabetic socks a friend of mine gave me because I, being, you guys know, being on the road having to do laundry and stuff. And sometimes you just got to get up and go, you oversleep. So I put on a pair of thin diabetic socks and uh, my feet stayed so warm still. So I'm kind of iffy and trying to figure out whether or not these are going to stay, you know, they're going to keep my feet sweating real, real bad during this heat. Or if it's just, uh, you know, um, if it's going to be all right, I'm not sure yet. I will recommend one thing. I would definitely wear a thinner sock whenever I'm wearing these boots. Um, so that way my feet can breathe a little bit better. The insulation in them is, is great and phenomenal. I mean, if you really want a really great work boot and you don't want it to break in period, you don't want to break them in or nothing, I suggest the Irish Setters. I also suggest getting fitted for a pair of boots uh, for the correct size. So that way you don't have these issues. We rely on our feet to work for us every day. So with that being said, we got to take care of our backs. We got to take care of our legs. We got to take care of our feet. And it all starts off with the boots that we wear. Um, I know this is kind of a quick video. So if you guys have any other questions or whatever, or you want me to uh, give you updates, feel free just to leave a comment. I'll definitely get back with you as soon as I can. But like I said, for your, you know, for the money, 230 something bucks for these boots, they're going to last you about a year. The Irish Setters have a lifetime warranty on them, I believe. Plus, if you need them resold, you can take them out there for like 80 bucks or 100 bucks. Same price you're going to get these resold for. They'll be done right through, through uh, Red Wing. I recommend these. You know, if you don't want to go with the hassle, I recommend the Red Wings. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely will follow up on these Red Wings later on, but as far as the uh, the uh, Thorough Goods go, I mean it's it's you know they're gonna last you they're gonna last you a year maybe less than that, and uh, you know if you start getting some water leaking in, you're gonna be really upset. I know I was. I mean for two hundred and thirty something dollars I paid, I was really upset about it. So um, I expected my boots to last me you know for for over a year. So you know with that being said. You guys have a great day. Uh, if you have any other questions, like I said, just leave a comment down below and we'll get more to it. And, uh, you know, I'll definitely, you know, put in some more videos out there. I appreciate y'all's time, man. Y'all have a good one. Stay blessed.